This is the PK of Texas Entrepreneur's Playbook, and I'm Karen Love, Director of Practice Growth. Today I'm here with Frank Landrineau, one of Houston's go-to international tax advisors. Welcome to the Playbook, Frank. Well, thank you, Karen. It's good to be here. Fantastic. Well, let's get started with sharing a little bit of information about, I think that I've heard that the international tax compliance environment has changed over the last few years, and I was wondering if you could provide me a little more background on that. Absolutely. Around the time of 2008, the IRS started taking a closer look at uh, taxpayers that have either foreign assets or foreign operations, and many of these taxpayers found themselves not quite prepared for that level of scrutiny. Wow, okay. So the, the preparation for the scrutiny, how does that affect people that you're working with on a daily basis? Well, what we found was that um, in examining a lot of the taxpayers' filings, we found that clients who'd been served by uh, previous advisors had not necessarily complied with all the five requirements. One such example is in the case of, let's say, uh, a client that has a, um, a foreign corporation which has a foreign bank account. Uh, the, the thought process was that uh, the U.S. owner had no filing obligation for that foreign bank account owned by that foreign corporation, and that's simply not the case. Wow. Well, that's way confusing to me, <laughs> but I'm so glad that you're a guru on that and our go-to person. We're really lucky to have you here at PKF Texas with that, and I'm wondering if you'll come back and talk to us a little bit more about that. I would love to. I have lots of things more to share. Fantastic. Sure. That's good for us. Well, for more information about our international capabilities, visit at pkftexas.com forward slash international desk. This has been a Thought Leader production brought to you by the PK of Texas Entrepreneur's Playbook. So tune in next week for another chapter.